as if now we have lights and sirens behind this particular uh, suspect at this point. This is the first we've seen at least of this, Julia. This is the first we've seen since News Chopper 4 got overhead on this pursuit on the eastbound 10 of uh, lights and sirens. But yeah, this car is still driving blacked out. Law enforcement in hot pursuit. We have at least one ground unit. As I zoom out and get this car back into view, uh, the air unit still has the night sunlight shining on it. Still doing speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. No headlights. That, uh, that black and white is, it looked like it was coming up hard behind him. Yeah. It almost seemed like they were trying to clear the freeway behind him. Is there, do you notice anything like that out there? That looks like what they may have been attempting to do, but you could see their cobbling as that black and white came up um, as close to this unit as we've seen any law enforcement units on the ground. Um, this driver accelerated again, and as I zoom out, uh, you can see this black and white working to close that gap now. Yeah. On the shoulder, yeah. it looks like. Sure. All right, now we're on the what, 15 southbound. Is that correct, Julia? 15 southbound, Rancho okay. Cucamonga. Rancho That's Cucamonga correct. area, okay. So, yeah, this is the first uh, black and white that we've seen with lights, at least lights. Uh, I'm assuming sirens as well. And, again, that siren uh, giving some type of warning along with those lights to those drivers who have no idea uh, what is approaching them. So uh, that is something that we haven't seen before since News Chapter 4 got on this chase. This is something we're seeing now. And again, keeping very close pace to this driver here. He is. He is. We have not seen this yet in this pursuit. But even as we come up on other vehicles here, uh, this black and white is closing the gap with this pursuit vehicle. Julia, do we have any idea what kind of vehicle this is? We know the driver is more than likely armed because this originated with some sort of shooting. But do we have any idea what, um, what he's driving here? You know, let me zoom in and try and get a better look at this sedan. Um, I can't get a clear read on the naked model. Um, and unclear if this could be a stolen vehicle. Uh, we don't have much information about who is in the car uh, or the vehicle itself. But again, this may have started with a shooting. This may have gone mm. to an All right. So, uh, again, with our apologies as we uh, lost Julia's uh, signal there for But to something we pointed out during this chase is that we've seen one black and white now with the sirens and lights, uh, something we haven't seen since the start of this chase. And he's moving very, very quickly eastbound. Would you say he's on the uh, 15 south headed through Rancho Cucamonga right now? Yeah. Right. So, um, okay, we of course will continue to keep tabs on this story. Um, uh, Julia Dang live for us over News Chopper 4. Uh, of course, we'll have the updates for you uh, as the hour continues. Also, breaking news tonight has been since about three o'clock our time this afternoon. We're looking at these images of former President Trump. He is walking down the stairs of his plane just hours after an assassination attempt on his life at a campaign rally. He is now back in New Jersey. We're tracking all this new information on the assassination attempt on former President Trump. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Michael Brown. The NBC News identified in the shooter as Thomas Matthew Crooks. He's believed to be a man in his 20s from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Right now, we uh, want to show you how things unfolded today, as I said, just after 3 o'clock our time this afternoon. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Mr. Trump says the bullet pierced the upper part of his right ear, as you can see it here, as he's protected and helped offstage by the Secret Service. One spectator was killed, two others critically injured. Former president was also seen pumping his fist in the air after the shooting as he was uh, rushed off the stage there, then mouthing the word fight to his crowd of supporters. All right, we have live team coverage of the president's condition, security at today's rally, and what this means for the presidential election. We're going to begin right now with NBC4's chief political reporter, Conan Nolan. And Conan is the only local reporter in Milwaukee tonight with reaction. He is there for the RNC. Conan. <laughs> 